sunny San Diego. That's what we call it. In this video, I'll share with you the top 10 things you can do in San Diego. It's in the south of California, and it's the oldest town. It might be the oldest town in California, but San Diego is for those who are young and young at heart. The positive ambience of San Diego makes it the best place to be if you're looking for a place to lay back and unwind. With its culture, natural beauty, and Mediterranean climate, you can't go wrong. There's 70 miles of beaches in every corner in this laid-back neighborhood. So what are you waiting for? Put on your flip-flops, slather on some sunscreen, and take a trip to sunny San Diego. Get a tan in San Diego's beaches. Been wanting a beach trip? Say no more. There are lots in San Diego. It's an ideal place to be if you want to go to the beach because of its abundance and sunny weather. So if you've been wanting to sunbathe and get a tan, there's no better place. Water activities? They got that too. If you're a thrill seeker or just want to enjoy a few water activities, take a trip to their beaches. Most of the beaches here are pet friendly, so you can bring your pets with you so they can enjoy running around in the sand too. Strolling on the beach is fun too, especially while the sun sets. Doesn't that just sound straight out of a movie? In Mission Beach, there's a beachside boardwalk that you can stroll in while you listen to the distant crashing of the waves. And the sea breeze flows through your hair. If you want to eat by the beach, you'll also find cute little cafes so you can enjoy a cup of coffee with a view off the sea. Learn about their culture in the San Diego Museum of Art. Museum dates are cute. You could bring your friends and family too. Taking a trip to a museum is not only fun, but enriching. Here, you'll see that the exterior of the museum is an exact replica of the 17th century Salamanca University. As you enter the museum, welcoming you are the works of Spanish painters and the rest of the art displayed are from all over the world. Some of them are even over 7,000 years old. This is Travel Pug, your travel guide around the world. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on more videos here in Travel Pug. Stare in awe while watching the Sunset and Sunset Cliffs Natural Park. It's on the name of the park for a reason, to catch sight of the sunset in the park. It's undeniable that it's a great place to watch the sunset. What makes it even better is that it's 68 acres along the coast. So you're watching the sunset with a view off the ocean. You get a panoramic view of the horizon as the sky turns from blue to different tones and hues of orange. If you find yourself here during the gray whale migration season, you might even see these beautiful creatures swimming around. Explore in the Maritime Museum of San Diego. Here, you'll find huge sailing ships, Navy submarines, old school yachts, and seafaring vessels. You can explore these, and some of them you can even ride on. This museum used to only put on display the Star of India, which is a historic ship when it opened in the year 1948. But now, you'll see 11 various exhibitions that you can learn about and explore further. But the Star of India, of course, is still one of the most popularly known, so it's a good place to start when you start going around the museum. You wouldn't want to miss out on wine tasting in San Diego if you are looking to spend some me time away from the kids or looking for the next exciting activity you can do with your friends and family, then this should definitely be a part of your list. Located in a North County farmland with rugged East County terrain, it's a hidden gem. Along the coast in the mountains of San Diego, you can enjoy wine tasting while touring around this family-owned business. If you're a wine connoisseur or you just enjoy a glass of wine, you'll surely have fun on this trip where you won't only get the best quality wine, but you also learn a lot more about the process and artistry that goes into winemaking. Take a trip to the Torrey Pine State National Reserve. You'll be mesmerized by this wilderness oasis. Funny enough, you'll find this in an urban environment. 
But once you're in this place, it will make it seem like you're in a magical forest, straight out of a fairy tale. Here you'll see the rarest pine tree called Pinus toriana. Isn't that amazing? How many people do you know that have seen the rarest pine tree? There is also a species of water birds that live in the salt marsh. The natural and intricate beauty of this habitat is definitely worth visiting, where you won't only see wildlife, but vegetation too, while enjoying all the beauty that nature has to offer. Take some pictures to bring home with you in the Point Loma and Cabrillo National Monument, a must-see site to visit. Get ready to be left speechless as you gaze at the views of the city and the Pacific Ocean. Point Loma is a lighthouse that was built in 1858. Aside from that, you'll find a big statue of a famous maritime explorer, Cabrillo, hence the name of the monument. Known for his great voyage of discovery, this statue overlooks the country he's known to have discovered. Take the kids to the San Diego Zoo, the most well-known zoos and one of the country's largest. A family-friendly site where you can make memorable memories with the kids. Not only the kids will have fun, but you will too. It's surely a great place to be if you're looking for some fun while learning about a variety of species you'll see at the zoo. You'll need to set aside a full day to explore the whole zoo for you to get the most out of it. You don't want to miss out on anything. A fan favorite are the giant pandas that are nurtured and cared for. Another are the gorillas, koalas, grizzly bears, leopards, rhinos, and sloths to name a few. The enclosures were built to mimic their natural habitat. Have fun on a night out in the gas lamp quarter. A fun fact is that it got its name, the gas lamp quarter, because of the gas lamps that line the streets of this city, a metropolis that was then a red light area. Here, you'll experience the culture and history of San Diego. Aside from the lively atmosphere of the city, you can do a little or a lot of shopping. Who doesn't love shopping? Well, it isn't everyone's cup of tea. So if you aren't into that, you can also enjoy the nightlife the city has to offer with more than 200 restaurants and lots of nightclubs for you to enjoy your night out in. Stroll around in Balboa Park, plenty of space to stroll around in, or have a picnic in this 1,400 acre site. There are historical structures to see that were built in the 1950s with a Spanish style architecture. This park is a wonderland. There's a beautiful botanical garden too, and a lily pond that you can stroll around in. Have fun under the sun in San Diego. Enjoy the intricate natural beauty of San Diego. From the beaches to the parks, you can explore the activities to do. Your trip will be fun packed. You'll surely enjoy not only the tourist spots and activities, but also their culture. San Diego is the best place to be. Enjoy your vacation so don't miss out on it. While you're planning your trip, be sure to add the places I've mentioned. You wouldn't want to miss out on them. San Diego is the best place for you to have fun in the sun. So what are you waiting for? Book your trip to San Diego now. Are you excited about the beaches or the activities to do like wine tasting or going out for the night? Share it with us in the comments below. This is Travel Puck, your guide and forever travel buddy. If you enjoyed and loved this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all of our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.